Daryl. I don't think any of us expected this when we turned up here this afternoon, did we? No, it was incredible. I mean, the, the rain, I've never seen anything like it in, uh, in August. And the uh, hail sounds as well. There are a lot of ice gives falling out of the sky and they're still lashing down right now. I think uh, a lot of surface water as well. So I think it's the right thing for the referee to abandon the game. We noticed the thunder and the lightning come with about 10 minutes left in the first half. I don't think, as you say, nobody expected it. It felt like just come all of a sudden, didn't it? Yeah, it was that kind of 10, 10 15 minute spell where it just come down out of nowhere, really. And it was, I've never seen rain like it, to be honest. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Incredible. But in terms of the game being called off, obviously the referee has numerous factors to, to weigh in, not least player safety as well, doesn't Listen, it? player safety paramount. I think uh, it's, it's the most important thing. You, you can't risk any players. Um, and he's, and it's, you, know, you can hear the rain now, it's, it's, we couldn't have played that It's impossible. I know it's kind of irrelevant at the minute, but how do you think we've played up we until play, that point? We played well. We played really well. I thought we played some good football again. Um, we took control of the game. We took control of the ball. Um, I'm lucky with Jack in the post. Some really, really good stuff. You wouldn't have liked the game to be called up or abandoned if we were one 2 look, would you? I don't want to call it off anyway. I think yeah. you know some of the lads who played tonight haven't obviously played a lot. So for them, I'm good for them not, not to be able to get their 90 minutes in tonight. You know they've trained hard and I had the minutes that they wanted really. So I think we made seven changes tonight. And, um, the lads who've been performing well to be fair. In terms of the lads who did come in, you like said David Fitzpatrick, Nathan Cameron. Was it matter of you saying to them, show me what you can do? Yeah, definitely. I think you know after with the game we had Saturday, but it was you know two, two of the other degrees. We had a lot of tired legs. Coming to the train on Monday was the same, and I felt we needed to freshen the team up, especially going down to Stephen this Saturday as well. Um, and the lads have been them really well, all of them. And in terms of rearranged fixture, we believe that will be going out first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, it'll be a case of go again from whenever we do come back here. No, I think we've shown tonight what we're about. We've had a good look at Grimsby, so we look forward to the game when it comes around. In terms of us having a good look at Grimsby, obviously that works the other way as well. Grimsby have had yeah. a good look at us. Would you say that there might be further shake-ups before that time, or are you happy? I think it's difficult to say. So obviously, we're, we're probably looking at looking at the fixtures maybe two weeks away. Yeah. So you might have injuries, suspensions, new signings. Who knows what's going to happen in the next two weeks? So I think it's important that we focus now on Stevenage. Darren, it's time to go and get dried off. <laughs> All the best. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.